all right so welcome to pv tech i'm brain land in this particular video i'm going to show you how you can actually scan any fta decoder either master decoder quality combo decoder or your plasma tv with an inbuilt satellite how you can actually scan using a dice like meaning you're having multiple cables having different satellite signal okay so when i talk of a dice sec this is a dice sec okay a tool that actually helps you to combine or gather two or more cables onto one receiver so this is a four in one dice sec we have two in one six in one and many more okay so this is the most common one that you're gonna find it out there the four in one okay so this is the receiver port that's the port that you're gonna connect a cable from it to your receiver and then we have four L and B ports that you can insert in your signal cable. Alright, so when it comes to L and B, multiple L and Bs and then dissect installation, most of the times people make common mistakes and if you do that, the channels will crash, meaning one list of channel won't be working and other one will be working. Meanwhile you are having a stable signal of all those satellite signal. Okay, so I have here a two signal cables carrying two different signal okay one for dstv and then one for multi tv so what i'm going to show you in this tutorial you can use it just change the tp to any tp that you are using to track and then replace with the one that i'm going to use here and it's going to work for you perfectly okay. all right so there are two ways that you should do this installation or to scan to get each of the tps okay you have your die sec here and in the die sec the first option is to connect the signal cables onto the die sec and then indicate the port lmb port that you insert each cable because you're going to use it in the installation settings to get your signal over there inserting one cable carrying one satellite signal so this cable is carrying dstv signal okay and then you go straight to menu of your fta decoder whether a plasma TV with an inbuilt satellite. Okay, so you go straight to satellite. Anytime you go menu, you go to menu on any FTA decoder. Just look for satellite settings, day settings, antenna settings, installation, or anything that comes near to this satellite, and then installation. Okay, you just press on it. Okay, so here satellite settings right here. So. We have the satellite list here. These are just a file or a folder that have the TPs in it. So the satellite here or the satellite that you're gonna select and then add the TP in it doesn't mean that that's the same satellite that you are having the signal or you are going to track. So never confuse yourself when it comes to this. Okay, this is just a folder with the TPs in it. Okay. So you can select any one and then add the TP. You can select DSTV satellite name and then add multi TV TP in it. And then you're gonna get it. You're gonna get your multi TV channels as well. So don't confuse yourself when it comes to this satellite folders over here and then the satellite that you are to track. Okay. So we have DSTV. You can either select any satellite at all, but let's select the DSTV satellite. I have already scanned, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it in order not to waste much time okay so you select here you go to transponder okay every decoder you're gonna find out that there is a command over there so look at the command and then go straight to what you want okay so transponder i need to press on go to on my finder okay so go to here and then i have already saved the dstv tp in it so I just have to search from the list and then put it on it. Okay. If it feels like you can't find it, just add. Okay. Okay, so F1 to add. All right. Which is 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 2, 7, 5, 0, 0, 2, 7, 5, 0, 0. Horizontal. Okay. So here, just highlight it like this and then. You have to go back because on my final right here this menu on this page if i'm to scan i won't get a brand scan option same will apply to other fta decoders but you can check 
with the quarter maybe you're gonna get a brand scan option right here so let me show you to you f1 f4 okay no brand scan option only default and network so you need to go back and then select that set like that's where you wanna get a brand scan option okay so here and then you select that satellite it will test at 36 degrees and you go ahead and scan okay air force scan so here there is a brand scan option press ok encrypted fta only all right service type all and you proceed okay press ok so here the next thing is to scan for the other signal that's the multi tv in my case i'm having multi tv signal so so if it's an my TV now comes out NBC. Just do same, and if it is three satellite that you are to add on the dissect, you do same. Okay, so here the same steps go to menu settings, and then one common mistake people do is that they select they select the same satellite for all the TPs, and if you do that, the channels will crash, meaning one channel is to be working and other won't be working and if you switch reboot the decoder and then you put it on other channel list that channel is to be working and the others won't be working so take note of that never select the same satellite to scan all the tps choose different satellite names okay so here we select the dstv satellite so we have to choose a different satellite you can select the dst uh, multi tv satellite which is Astra 2A 2B 20 degrees and you can also select different one. Okay, so let's select hotbed or Arab sat. Okay, hotbed right here. Okay, so you have to add the multi TV TP. You have frequency which is 12525. So you do same if it's my TV or any other TP 30,000 and then vertical. Okay, highlight it and then you scan. You do same, you go back. Okay. You go back and then come to the satellites. You select hotbed, so put it on hotbed and then press on the F. This my my final is different from your FTA decoder, so you need to look at your command and then press on it. So Brian scanned FT only. Select okay. Alright, so I already have the channels on it, so I need to just press it to save time. Okay. So now after you have completed scanning both satellite signal, all you got to do here is to check inserting the cables one after the other and then check whether they are working. Okay, so these are the multi-TV channels and then they are working. Alright, so you got to check the DSTV channel as well. Okay, the dish is working right here. Now, after checking that all the channels on your TP separately are working, all you got to do is to insert your cables into the dissect port. Okay, so DSTV to LMB port 2. You can choose any port that you want, but make sure that that port is working. But in most cases, they used to crash. So maybe you're inserting one cable at port one and another one at port two, but you won't be getting the signal. So you need to remove it and then change the port to know which one will work. And most of the times, the dissect will be a new one, but it will be having a problem. So you need to know whether it's having a problem or not. All right, so DSTV port two, multi tv port 3 so connect your receiver cable so here put it on one of the dstv channel and then go straight to menu okay so when you go to menu here you come to the dissect number right here and then you select the lmb port that you set in the cable so this port 2 as you can see lmb 2 if you change it you won't get a signal so you change it to lmb2 and then you're gonna get your signal so lmb2 and you're gonna get a signal okay so you press exit to save and then you do same to the other tps that you have just scanned okay so exit to save and then 
you come back to one of the multi tv channels you press on it you put it on one of the channels okay so i think that tv right here it's not working okay so you go to the menu satellite settings and then you come to the dissect okay or three lmb3 right here and then you save you press it to save okay so working right there all right so that's it never choose the same satellite to scan all the tps if you do that they're gonna crash all right so if it happens to be your first time being on this channel all you got to do is to subscribe and hit the bell icon you lose nothing by subscribing share my videos on any other platform that accepts youtube videos and you'll be blessed all right thanks for watching bless oh.